Orleans. New Orleans rules. That is a fact. I love New Orleans so much. The most proud I am about this place is the people I work with and the fact that it's in the city. If you're gonna own a restaurant, it's pretty cool to own one in New Orleans because New Orleans is just the best. We talk about it all the time, like, can you believe this? Hey, I'm Mason. I'm the chef owner of Turkey and the Wolf. We got a little sandwich shop here on Jackson Avenue. I probably lived in New Orleans for about a week before I knew that I was gonna live here for a long time. By the time I lived here for a year, I knew I was probably gonna live here forever. We don't have any limits to what we can do, but obviously we gotta play our strengths. So we just do whatever we're feeling and whatever's special to us. I grew up eating sandwiches in Charlottesville, Virginia, where I'm from. I love sandwiches. There's a country store there called Moppin Brothers Country Store. It led to a long life loving junk food. I don't like to think that I'm inspired by like Dr. Pepper and Snickers, but there's a picture over there of Dr. Pepper and a Snickers, so I guess you can't deny that there's some inspiration there. We have, at any given time, five or six sandwiches. We like them all the same. One that people seem to like to hear about is the bologna sandwich. A lot of our sandwiches will have that one thing that makes it kind of a turkey and the wolf sandwich. This sandwich is kind of just the sum of its parts. We got our friend David Weiss breaking the bread and delivering it to us. My friend Leanne Smith makes the bologna here in town. It's just a lot of people are making it taste good. A lot of people are making it special to us. How'd you guys enjoy everything, all right? That one is amazing. Thank you. It's kind of a sleeper when you read it on the menu. We've got a ham sandwich. We take it really seriously. We make the ham here. I think we got a, a seven day brine and we smoke it for like 10 hours. That sandwich is a direct rip off from Bel Air Market in Charlottesville, which is a sandwich I grew up eating every week, sometimes two in a sitting. We took it so seriously that I called them and said, hey, what's your bread? They wouldn't tell me. My mom went in there and she's like really nice. And was like, hey, my son would like to know your bread recipe. They told me we don't make the bread, we buy it. So I went and found the exact same bread. So we got Bel Air's bread here at Turkey and the Wolf. So yeah, that sandwich rules, we stole it. So we'll do anywhere from like five to seven sandwiches. And then it'll be five to seven other things. One time Colleen and I, we made a dish that was like, literally just tasted like a fucking gas station chip aisle. We called it the Double Decker Boomtown Freedom Tostada. It sounds dumb, it was dumb but it tasted good and we served it and we were proud of it. Basically, it was two fried corn tortillas, like a homemade French onion dip, like a layer of refried beans, and it tasted like being a kid and being at the gas station. We're like, this is cool, let's serve it. But yeah, that's the dumbest, funniest thing we've served. But it was legit. The most proud I am about this place is the people I work with and the fact that it's in the city. If you're gonna own a restaurant, it's pretty cool to own one in New Orleans because New Orleans is just the best. And the service industry here is so strong, you've got so many friends, some sharing, caring, and all that great stuff. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Yeah. This guy's cool. I like him. See how cool his mustache is? I can imagine it'd be really hard to be like a new employee here because it's like, oh, you got a bunch of guys joking. These guys are joking because they're f***ing sick at their jobs. I don't think there's a single person who works here that wasn't like a sous chef at a fine dining restaurant. Here we are making sandwiches. I like to think they work here because we have a good time. We party, and we make a lot of jokes. The whole idea is we go and work every day so that we have a good time and try to translate that into the experience for everybody else. That makes making new things on the menu rule because people come up with their own ideas. And then we just bounce the idea off each other, try the sandwich 10 times, put it on the menu. This is f***ing teamwork and the rules. Oh, here, I'll come in and do them. It'll be funny. All right, clean your f***ing station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a good camera. Just like all the chairs are mismatched, everything's mismatched, everything here came from a bunch of different places. Just like my brother took all these pictures and that's how we did the walls. Like all this wood is from my dad's girlfriend's house. My mom bought the four main tables of the dining room for me for Christmas. She had also bought all those cool McDonald's glasses at an antique store by her house. Just a coming together of a lot of people and a lot of like funky stuff. And now here it is, all in one place. We talk about it all the time, like, can you believe this? You know, it's, we really appreciate it, we love it. We set out to do something, we did it, and it just like feels really good when people like it. It's also just like, mind blowing. Turkey Wolf's gonna stay right here. We're gonna open, open some other shit, hopefully. Not right now. But, uh, you know, Colleen's gotta have her restaurant, and then Nate and Scotty, they got some restaurants to open and shit. Hopefully we'll have a couple. And they'll all be fun to hang out at, and all the people that work there will have fun hanging out with each other.